Hi, I'm Jackie Newling. I'm colonial gastronomer at Sydney Living Museums. That means I use food as a way of interpreting history. Our properties have a very rich food culture and the resources they give us inform our food technology programs, which are held here at Vaucluse House and at the historic Elizabeth Farm. This is a curry powder called Dr Kitchener's. Our food tech programs, um, like all our education programs, adhere to the outcome and content areas of the New South Wales curriculum. And then we look at food in Australia, food for special occasion, and talk about food trends. For the majority of the program, they're actually spending it doing hands-on practical food activities. So they're preserving lemons, they're making a 19th century curry powder in the colonial kitchen, they're handling foods and tasting them out in the garden. So it's a really hands-on experience which really enriches their learning and um, makes it more engaging for them, which means that they're getting some great educational outcomes from it, but they, they leave here always having had a terrific day. As colonial gastronomer, my research draws from lots and lots of different aspects of our food culture. The buildings themselves, the kitchens, the dining rooms, the sculleries, the dairies, those spaces tell us a lot about food production at various periods. What did you really enjoy? Tasting the food. Tasting the food? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. But this looking was at the gardens. Really fun. Yep. The gardens was great, yeah. Sydney Living Museum's food technology programs offer students a unique opportunity to immerse themselves in these historic homes, explore the food in the kitchens, in the gardens, and work with some of the ingredients that we know were enjoyed in these properties in the 19th century.